Bone bastards. Yeah, I loved playing Mario 3 as a kid. That was one of those games that you got when you were a kid and you just played over and over and over again. Like, it didn't get old. No matter how many times you played it, it's like, oh yeah, it's this stage again, and blah blah blah, and hey, it's that guy again, and hey, I remember you from last time, and blah blah blah. That's why if I if I play Mario 3, which I probably will at some point in time, unless Nintendo gets pissed at me, is like, you can't upload those videos, in which case I won't upload those videos, because I'm not big enough to take on Nintendo. Mmm. But I am not advocating that people should go out and, uh, or er, should uh, get stuff for get the Mario game for, for free because it is a big difference to actually have the old time cartridge in your hand or go buy it on the uh, go buy it on the Wii store thingy. I think they have it on the Wii store. Ah, but yeah, it is a big difference, especially ah, uh, especially since I am uh, I've been playing this whole thing on a keyboard. I've never uh, I've never plugged in a uh, controller for any of these videos. It's all just been keyboard and a mouse. So for those of you that are like, oh yeah, you know, I saw a guy do, uh, no, a perfect run of I want to be the star, or whatever. Just know that they're probably using uh, keyboards, or not keyboards. God, they're probably using controllers. Damn. Nine five nine. Awesome. But yeah, other people, like over the gun, use joy pads, which are pretty massive. You know, he showed me the jo he showed us the jo uh, the uh, jo joe pad, the uh, joy pad, in one of his videos, and it was huge. I could not believe it. It's like, how the hell do you play on that thing, guy? Take some raw power and skill. But I'm just using the arrow keys for this whole thing. It is. I will admit that it is nice not to have to put like push the, uh, get the hell up there. It is nice not to have to push the, uh, fire button when you're hitting a boss. It is nice not to have to spam. Eh. Oh, I was being cheeky with that. There we go. See, sometimes I mean, I mean to land on these things. Oh, that bullet snuck out of nowhere. But I like overshoot it or undershoot it. This is some pretty pre precision jumping. Like those spaces, these spaces are only about as only as bad as they are only as big as the ball, the ornament, whatever you want to call it. I thought I was dead there. I was waiting for the uh, explosiony sound effect. I was like, where is it? Come on, it's around here somewhere. I can smell it. I can smell the sound effects. Okay, we go down there, I jump up here, we keep on trucking. We jump on these bolts. We wait here for a second. I, I could probably jump on that other bolt, but I'm not gonna risk it. Hey, I actually made it up here. Oh, that put me off. No! Oh. That bastard's gonna get me. Bone bastard, I mean. Man, that was cheeky. Oh, yep. How did that not get me? I don't know. This ball has raw courage. Okay, here we go. Okay. And then we jump over that. Now we're down here again. Yeah. Oh, the, the propeller. That's just lame propeller. That is a sin. I mean, I know it's a propeller, but still, damn. It doesn't help that they're putting me at like the most bottom part of the screen either. I was trained to focus on the middle of the screen, thank you very much. Hey, I can actually jump in there. Hey, that makes everything a lot easier. See, the main difficulty in this, I think, is perfecting your technique. I'm dead. Yep. See ya. Yeah, the main thing here is per perfecting your technique. Like, remember when I, uh, 
Remember when I was doing the Sephiroth battle and I realized that I didn't have to jump off the uh, platform to uh, dodge his sword fury thingy? As soon as I figured that out, like the very next try after, damn it, after I figured that out, I beat him. Which was awesome. You will never know the joy that I feel, that I felt. Well, I still feel that I beat him. If you, in fact, if you go watch um, Over the Guns videos, no. If you guys go watch Over the Guns videos, there's this one fight that he did way back when, I think two years ago, I think it was? It was in 2009, I think it was. So that'll be about two years ago. But he did this Resident Evil 3 playthrough, and he got stuck on a very little hard boss called Nemesis. And I'm talking epically stuck. Damn it. He started at like part 14, and it took him until about. About? A Bart? <laughs> it took him about until part 24 to beat him. Like, even when I did Sephiroth, I, I at least took a break. Damn it. But, over the gun, he just... God, I don't even know how he stayed sane after that. 969! Nine, nine. Am I really gonna die a hundred times to this part? Am I really? I better not. It's just cheaping me out. Like, I can do this, and I can get up there, but once it puts me on... You! Boom! <sighs> Sorry if this is a uh, little boring, guys. I know you're all looking at the thumbnail to see if I uh, have made any progress yet, and I have not, which means I suck. Yay! God damn it. Real. But yeah, that Sephiroth battle was, I think, about as close as I'm ever going to get to, to uh, Over the Gun's nemesis. <gasps> oh. Unless, you know what, I, I don't want to jinx myself. There might be something even worse. Oh god, there might be a boss inside this battleship. I don't want to think about it. I don't want to know what could be worse. That cloud, or the uh, Kirby cloud, Lord Tubbington, wasn't terribly hard. He was difficult. I will say that that cloud was a difficult boss, but he was nowhere near as trying as Sephiroth was. I'm dead. Sephiroth was just flat out just... Ugh. Well, actually, Pikachu. Pikachu was also a very tough little guy. But, you know, at least I took a, uh, took a day's break between getting Sephiroth down. Crap. Close. Bone Bastard's gonna get me. God, I hope this isn't audio desyncing for you guys. Because I'm, uh, I think it's just lagging. It didn't lag when I was doing the Sephiroth fight, not to drag it back to him again. But it did. Oh, I jumped over it. I was not trying to jump into that pipe. I don't know what you're smoking. But I was not trying to get in that pipe, Piranha Plant. I was not trying to lure you out or anything. I was just trying to go along my business, get out of this horrible bullet hell. I mean, look at this. I gotta go through the bowels of this ship. Eh. While dodging many a bullet. With just my ball. Singular. While dodging bone bastards that fire off little tiny things that you can't even see. I'm gonna... Yeah. Oh, I just realized those propellers would kill you if you touched them. Ah, get away from me!
Wing. Ah, nah. Don't touch me. Get away. Don't you even think about it. Nope. Don't want your kind of attention today, sir. That cannon's gonna get me. Great, it didn't. But see, now I'm on the bowels of this ship. That got me last time. Lovely. Don't you just love when I have to repeat this kind of massive progress? That should have killed me. That was being really cheeky, and that should have killed me. Thankfully, I have uh, lowered the blind so I can now see things a little bit better. Good. Oh, that was asking way too much. That was asking far too much from this game. You could do it. I could do it. If I was not recording, I would try that. You see, I don't even think I would get that mad at Sephiroth. I don't even think I'd get that mad at Sephiroth. 979. I don't think I'd get mad, that mad at Sephiroth if I wasn't recording and looking like an idiot in front of everybody. Well, by everybody, I mean like the three people that watch me. Although I did actually get a, a new subscriber today, so kudos. I think I'm up to 66? Yeah, I think I'm up to 66. That doesn't really count because quite a few of them are the sub four subbers and people that I know. Probably about half. Oh, that bullet should have rammed me in the face like that. God damn, this is hard. You see, I got through it most of the way a couple times, and I was like, yeah, this, this is easy, you know. I better not have far to go after that piranha plant trick. After we're back down here. I better not have to do this, like, I better not have to do this, like, six times. Just like ring around the rosy around this whole stupid battleship. That would piss me off. What the hell are you dreaming? Okay. I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to say it. But you, game, have incurred the wrath, the benevolence of Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby, if you are. Is he still alive? Yeah, he's still alive. If you are listening, currently, in wherever the hell you're living right now, Bone Bastard! Not you, Bill Cosby. You are not a Bone Bastard. You are a Pudding Pop Bastard. You are the Ill illegitimate child of a Pudding Pop and something. Eh. Aw, oh, see, you insult Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby is the offspring of a Pudding Pop and a Helium Balloon. I'm sorry. That is what he is. I insult the god, Bill Cosby. Well, I don't even insult him, I'm just stating a fact! Aww. Great. Now I'm forever to be trapped in this hell. In fact, I think the end of... I think the, the end of Mario 3 was hell, if I remember correctly. Not that I played it. I watched a video of it later. Of somebody else playing it. Aww. Yeah, see, if I wasn't recording, this whole part would not annoy me in the slightest. I'd just put on some tunes, you know, some music, some, uh, I think it's Offspring. Yeah, I think Offspring. They're the, uh, they're the band that did the soundtrack, the entire soundtrack to that game, uh, Crazy Taxi. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go look it up. It's a very, very good song. Very rockin', very 90s. Yeah. Maybe even in the early 2000s. See, the lag makes it seem like... Blah, blah, seems like that I'm uh, just taking it super slow. Yeah, I'm going to die a thousand times in this stage, aren't I? Love it. Okay, next time I die will be 989, and I'm going to stop the video. And hopefully we can actually get some uh, progress. Nope, okay, that's it. See ya.